opens a transparent trading room for cutting EU red tape. Europe needs reform. Well, today in Inter we had a very positive vote uh, for TTIP and the negotiations, setting out a very broad-reaching and uh, a, a positive priority list for what we hope to achieve as the EU from these TTIP negotiations. Well, investment is absolutely desperately needed here in the EU and we need to have an investment chapter and everybody agrees we need to have a strong investment chapter in this free trade negotiation. But the reality is, is that it's only going to be as strong as the protection that is put in place for that too. So we do need to have an investor protection mechanism. There is great debate over ISDS, Investor State Dispute uh, Settlement. The reality is, is that we recognise it's not perfect, it does need reforming, but we're not going to take any options off the table at this stage. We need to have an investment chapter, we need to have an investment protection mechanism. What that is remains to be seen, but let's, let's consider all the options. Well, we have to take this to plenary. Obviously, that's going to be the next stage and, and nothing is taken as a given. But I do think that we have momentum in pushing forward with this negotiation and sending out a positive message about saying what we want to achieve for the EU and for EU citizens from this negotiation process. And what there is to achieve, there's an awful lot. There is delivering for consumers, giving people more jobs, giving them more consumer choice, uh, ensuring the safety of the products that they have and getting them at a better price. I mean, this is worth as a deal to the EU of 120 billion euros every single year and that will equate to about 500 euros or 443 pounds uh, to every family in the EU and that is not bad.